Hello everyone, and welcome back to this Lord of the Rings Minecraft adventure. I am LeftClick, and it is time to try and find some trolls to slay. And some Gundabad orcs and wargs. Um, we are in the Troll Shaws, and now that we're here, we're going to try and dive into any caves we can see in search of troll gold. Or, uh, ancient elvish weapons that they have stolen, or other treasures that the trolls may have taken from travelers along this path. As you can see, the troll shaws are a very hilly biome, and so we may find some hill trolls. Big lumbering oafs that are not smart, but can hit like a freaking truck. So, as we venture, we are going to need to get some coal um, to make some torches. Because once we go into the caves, and they're not well lit, orcs and other mean things may spawn. So we need to make sure we have enough uh, coal to make some torches to light our way. And so I'm just going to grab a few of these, and then we're going to try and find the nearest cave. Uh, as you know, uh, hill trolls, as you might know already, do not tolerate sunlight well. Uh, orcs don't tolerate sunlight well either, but orcs only get slower and maybe a little bit weaker. Trolls, however, cannot bear to stand the sunlight. In fact, when trolls encounter sunlight, they turn to stone. And there is a story from The Hobbit in which Bilbo... Uh, the young hobbit, well, not necessarily young, but the hobbit adventurer, the protagonist of the story, is traveling with his 13 dwarvish companions. And they're traveling through the troll shaws, and they spot a campfire. A campfire owned by three monstrous trolls. Bilbo tries to sneak some mutton that they are eating. But he is discovered by the trolls, and the trolls then round up his companions and put them all into sacks. And then they discuss among each other how they're going to cook the dwarves and Bilbo. Whether it be roasting them over the fire, skinning them, or squashing them into jelly. But Bilbo has the good sense to keep the trolls talking. Um, to have them argue about which dwarf to eat first and whatnot. Waiting for Gandalf the wizard to arrive, as he might be close by. Bilbo manages to keep them talking enough so that dawn approaches soon. And Gandalf manages to, I don't want to say conjure the sun, but he manages to have the sun rise, causing the orcs, oh, so, sorry, the trolls to not have time to retreat into their cave. And they all turn to stone. And the statues are still there in the troll shaws to this day. Oh, what a... And so I would like to recreate that scene. I would like to find a troll and um, have it turn to a statue, collect it for my own use, and I still can't find a cave. That is upsetting to me. I want to find nice troll gold. Or other such things. I hear a troll. Hold on. Do you hear that? The ooh. I think that's a troll. There might be a cave nearby. In fact, it might be just below us. Is there a cave entrance near here that I missed? Maybe we have to dig down. Ah, yes, it is right below us. All right, well, we may be in luck, my friends. Let's make ourselves... Oh, we already have a shovel. I am a fool. Let's make ourselves a shovel and dig ourselves down there. I don't think we are going to need our white bane sword, so I am going to put it into our pouch. But I am going to take out our, so our uh, iron sword. And let's see, how much leather do we have? Not enough to make a chest plate. So maybe before we go in there, I would like to kill some uh, deer or other creatures that so I can get myself some leather. So I can make myself some decent protection. So, oh dear, looks like you're going to have a problem soon. There we go. Can I take out a deer with one hit of the spear? I guess not. And now my deer... Now my spear is broken. God damn it. Alright. Maybe a single hit will do it. Oh, no, mine. I got my spear. Yaha. Okay, how much blood do we have? Nine. Good. Alright. That's good enough. Let's... Let's kill one more. Just for good measure. Come here. Come here, son of a bitch! Ah! Ah! Man, I'm bad at Minecraft. Here we go. Alright. Let's take out this, and let's put our nature meat in here. Let's make ourselves a leather chest plate. Uh, 
Let's actually dye it. Are there any flowers around here? There are. What is... Oh, there's some orcs up there. Here we go. Let's just quickly take care of this. And, uh... Put that there. Uh, let's make ourselves... I think it's worth making ourselves a pike. Something that's long range that we can defend ourselves with. Now, a pike is crafted similarly to a spear. But you put an extra iron ingot there. And now, we can do some damage. Let's take this. And let's descend. There should be a cave nearby. As it was almost directly below us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to cover our hole so that nothing comes up behind us. And let's see if we can dig right down into where these orcs are and where this troll may be below us. Because if my suspicions are correct, there it is. It seems like a fight must have gone down here. So let's be a little careful in approaching this. Let's try and skirt the walls of the cave. Okay, we're not quite there, so let's go down here. Let's see. Okay, this might be a little bit better starting point. Alright. Hello. Hello, Govna. Oh god, he's shooting so fast. How can he reload the crossbow so fast? Good Christ. I am upset now. Alright. Let's go this way. Because if we stay in these narrow corridors, the orcs may not be able to get me as quickly. Hello, friend. You gonna fuck with me? I guess not. You are a fool. And a rascal. And it seems like there's an archer behind him that I'm going to take out. Let's take this guy out real quick. Man, he's still not dead? Good lord. He's so tough. Okay, we have range on this guy, so we don't need to be afraid of the... It seems like a Angmar Warhammer that he has on him. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, you know what? He surprised us. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna take ownership of that. He surprised us with his speed. Oh, what's this? Okay, so it seems like we already found some treasure. These are treasure piles. They're basically piles of copper or silver or gold. In this case, it's copper, which, I mean, it's I. It's not the best, but it's I. Ooh, orc draft. We might use that later uh, for a nice boost. I'm going to make some more torches quickly, though. Just to, you know, be safe. Okay, let's get our charcoal done first. Here we go. I think the charcoal dust is going to be used to make gunpowder to make the orc bombs. Like the ones that Saruman made um, for the Battle of Helm's Deep. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, that's a good amount of, that's a good amount of coal. We can save this for a later date. Uh, let's hope that there aren't any trolls that are going to be too difficult to deal with. I see. Wow, that was easy. Seems like we don't need any pickaxes to mine them. Alright, let's put those in our treasure and coin slot. They are copper treasure piles. I'm not quite sure what we can do with these, but I'm going to collect them anyway. Maybe we will have them litter our house to show our wealth in, I guess, copper, which isn't that great now that I think about it. I mean, it's copper. It's pretty common ore. Whatever. But at least we found iron. Shit. Can't even make myself a new pickaxe. Here we go. I like making myself... uh. Simple stone tools when I'm just adventuring, as I don't want to waste uh, precious, pres precious resources too often. Okay, uh, let's dig up some of this urn. 
Let's put it in our materials. All right, it seems like we already have quite a bit of stuff in here. So let's move the cooked rabbit and pork chop to the nature section. As that's meat, I guess it's technically nature. I don't know. Uh, let's get rid of this lava because that is a hazard. OSHA will hear about this. Listen, I'm part of the safety team at work. I will I'll write you up. I'm inspector here. Ooh, okay, let's collect this iron. Because now we can actually get some good equipment if we get some iron. Instead of, you know, scrounging out anything we find in chests or um, other such areas. Here we go. Now this is the part of Minecraft that we play. The mining portion of Minecraft. Let's go grab some of these. Here we are. Alrighty. Making good progress. Making good progress. Alright. Once we get a good amount of iron, then we can actually make... Um, maybe when we go... No, I think about it. Where... Okay, once we get iron, go down to Minhiriath. Or maybe we go west to Lindon. Because I want to make some actual steel stuff, whether it be elven or dwarvish steel. Problem is, if you want to make elvish or dwarvish steel, you have to go to where the elves are. So maybe in Rivendell. So they could fast travel to the Trollshaws and go straight to Rivendell. Because when the Trollshaws to Rivendell, uh, like 4,000, 5,000 blocks, something like that. Still a long way. I'd rather just spend some time mining and resource collecting down there. Ah, oh, man. I don't want to venture too far. Because it might be a little boring. Ooh, gold! Well, lads, I think it's time to make ourselves that silken iron pick. Let's see. Do we have iron? Yes, we do. Three of it, actually. Uh, let's... We'll put our silken smith scrolls on once we make a proper anvil. So, I don't need bone meal. I need that. Here we go. Now we're cooking with diesel. Let's grab that. And let's grab a little bit of this coal. You can never go, you can never go wrong with too much coal. That's my Minecraft philosophy. If you ever think you have too much coal in the inventory, I think having a stack of coal is always a good idea in case you need some quick fuel, in case you need to make some torches, or in the case of this mod, if you need to make steel. Because if you may want to make dwarven or elvish, or if you're evil, uruk steel, then you will need coal, as you have to alloy coal and uh, if you have, you have to alloy coal or charcoal, um, some kind of coal and iron together to make steel, as it is a carbon iron alloy. Let's put this in there, and here we go. Let's see, is there any more troll gold in here? No. All right. Let's keep going, and if you're wondering what this is, this is saltpeter. Uh, it's not super useful to us right now, but it will be useful if we find some sulfur, because then we can make some gunpowder, then we can make some orc bombs, but orc bombs are kind of resource intensive in this mod. So I'm going to mark the pathway we've already been through, continue on this way. Uh, orc bombs are resource intensive, because I think they require uh, orc, orc iron or orc steel, and because of that... I'd rather not waste metal resources, and if I'm going to make something out of gunpowder, I'm just going to make regular old TNT. Uh, because you can still make vanilla Minecraft recipes in this mod. So, and honestly, TNT won't be super useful. I mean, it might be if you are uh, being invaded, if in it, there's an invasion going on in your home biome, and you want to stave it off and defend yourself. Oh, hey, there's some sulfur. Uh, but other than that, I don't really find as much of a use for it as uh, other materials in this mod. Or at least other weapons, because I think TNT is just, I don't know, underwhelming. And considering the health of the creatures in this mod, it won't be like an insta-kill. So, I don't know, the utility of it, it can come into question. Also, I am going to move the weapons we have into our treasure and coin. As those as we already have a iron helmet in there, and so I think it'll be... Uh, useful in that respect, where later when we get an unsmeltery, which is an item in this mod that allows you to smelt down uh, 
tools or equipment made from a certain material into that base material, for example, an iron helmet into iron ingots. Once we get that going, then we can melt down all the extra shit we have, like extra weapons, armor, etc. Alright, well, we don't need gravel and we don't need that coal. Man, we haven't really found that much troll treasure. I'm very upset about that. I really want to find some good stuff. <laughs> but we must venture on. Where do we went this way? Where do we went here? Where did we come from? Oh, we came from up there. So let's go here. Huh. Maybe there's... Ah! Here we are. This is what I'm talking about. There's a chest. There's a treasure pile. All right, we're in the right area now. What's in here? A gold ring, a gold ingot, and a silver nugget. Very, very nice. Let's put all these in here. Let's grab these treasure piles. Copper treasure piles, that is. And a fun thing about treasure piles. Um, you'll see that some of them are less than a block high. For example, this. But when you combine them, they form a full block, which is very useful where if you have a bunch of treasure piles that are of uh, differing heights, just stack them up on top of each other, and you will essentially round to the nearest full pile. Which I think is a great strategy. Uh, we've got a Mordor dagger, that's not super great. An Arnorian dagger. Leggings, helmet. Uh, let's, we, let, we can craft this helmet together to give us more durability. Uh, we can craft these Arnorian leggings together. Alright, here we go. Alright. It's just a way. I craft them together, although it will get rid of our initial modifiers on them. It will uh, give us durability to make it to the next armor we find. Which, you know, may be in one of these troll camps. Or rather, not camps, but hordes. Speaking of hordes, there might be some massive Gundabad hordes outside, since it is nighttime. And I think having this little cave base to retreat into was probably a good idea on our part. By our part, I mean my part, because I'm a smart boy. So let's climb up here. Here we are. Let's go back up. Oh, there's a whole other section of this cave we haven't explored yet. Let's go explore that. Bop, bop, bop. And you'll notice I do the torch on the right rule, because, you know, as an OG Minecraft player, that's the only real way to go about things. Am I right, lads? Right! Fucking right. Alright, let's make a pillar to show where we've already been. Let's get rid of this water, as that'll be a nuisance. Arr oh, some more tin. Don't have a lot of copper to alloy to make bronze, but at least we have some tin to get started. And now that we have tin, we can make some mugs, which will be quite useful. Alright, let's grab... I hear people munching. Is it nighttime? It is nighttime! Oh, god damn it, there's a bandit. Alright, fuck you. Where are you? Yeah, get away from me. Okay, so bandits will actually steal items from your inventory, such as coin, uh, weapons, etc. As you see, he stole my fucking battle axe. Oh, god damn. Oh, well, that was just foolish of me. But at least I made it so that he can't easily escape from us. Ha ha! See? I am the smart boy now. Okay, let's make our route back up here and see if there's anything we can kill. Some Gundabad orcs. I don't see any trolls. Let's climb up on the trees, because we'll be safe from the trolls in the trees, I believe. Because they are large, they won't... God damn it. They won't follow us. Up the trees. At least I don't think so. I think their AI might be too dumb for that. Do you see any trolls? I see a warg. But no trolls. It's almost daytime too. So I would like to find a troll. Uh, by the time the sun comes up. Because they'll stop spawning when it becomes daytime. And then we won't get to see them turn to stone. So let's just venture around. See if there's anything nearby. I mean there's a spear that was thrown at me. That's not very nice. There's an archer. Fuck you. Ah, stop hitting me. Okay. No trolls here. Let's get a higher look. Uh. Ah! 
Why would you do that? That's so mean. Okay, I hear a troll. We're getting close. Oh, there it is. What the hell? Oh, it seems our weapons change positions when we crouch. Is that a thing? No, I guess it's only a thing with the pike. Hold on. What is that doing? It seems we're like lowering ourselves into an anti-cavalry formation here. That's pretty cool. Maybe it'll work as anti-cavalry. Ah, oh, there's a troll. Okay, let's kill this guy. And look how beautiful this pike is. It has a lot of knockback, so we are just screwing them up. This is a great weapon. I'm never letting go of this. Ah, oh, there's a troll. See what I mean? It's not able to follow us up here. Oh, maybe it is. Uh-oh. Let's kill it. Do you want Do you want me to let this turn to stone? Or do you want me to kill it? Because it is daytime. And it is right above me. Yeah, now nah, I'm going to kill it. I want to complete orders. I need to kill 35 of these fuckers. That's not going to be easy. Ah. Ah, and I have a really good uh, defensive defense right now. I feel like this is my best shot at doing it. Oh, he's turning to stone. Actually, you know what? Uh. All right. Let's see him. Let's see him go. Come on, you sucker. Let Dawn take you. I was trying to run under a tree for shade. Not on my fucking watch. Hey. Hey. Hey, where are you? Hey. Hey. I see you. What? Yeah, come here. Ah, okay. Never mind. He's going to hit me. Well, looks like you're smart enough to find shade. I'm going to have to kill you. Man, so dumb. So smooth brain. Ha! I got him. Now I can complete orders. You drop some pork chops, some feathers, some some other shit. I at least I got a troll bone. Alright, well, we killed the troll. And uh, we spent most of the night in a cave, so that was kind of counterintuitive to our goals. I thought we'd see more trolls in the cave, believe it or not. And so I'm a little bit upset at that. Screw you. Screw you. There we go. Don't see there's any other orcs here. Uh, what kind of quests do we have? Oh, jeez! Whew! I heard you sneaking up on me. Get away from me. You will not steal my things today. No. Get back. Haha. -ha. Did I get his hat? Goddamn right I got his hat. I don't need it, though. I don't need your charity. At least I got some coin from him. Oh, wow. You suck at throwing spears. Get back from me. I'll take you out. I'll take you out. Got him. Some more orc draft. Aye. All right. You asked for this. Let's see. We got strength and speed. We can fuck these guys up. I'm invincible now. Let's get rid of this water skin. We don't need it. Slurp it down, throw the skin away, and just go ham. These look like horses. They're not ponies. That's kind of sad. Come on. Where are the orcs? I'll take all of you on. I'm fast. I'm strong. I'm a lethal weapon. Urgh. I don't see any. Now I'm sad. The minute I get strong enough to deal with them, ha -ha, here we are. There's some hordes. Come on. Impress me. Uh-oh. I don't want to go down there. I hear trolls, though. Alright. You know what? Aggressive mining! Ugh. Don't need that much tin. Gonna grab this iron. Hup. Up here. Let's make a path to get this copper. And then we will go aggressive. And then we'll slam some more orc draft and just go wild. Oh wow, this is a neat looking cave system and there's lots of... Can't tell if you can see right now, but there's 
silver treasure piles, or maybe that's iron, I don't know. Oh, God. All right. Let's slam it. Slam it down. Pitter patter! Let's get at her! Come on! You think you impress me? You're weak! Uh, puny, puny weaklings. Okay, you know what? Uh, it's worn off. No, it hasn't. I'm going in. Come on. Come on. All right, now it's actually heal up because I don't want to be too uh, <laughs> overzealous with our bravery unless we get fucked up. Okay, let's actually go to our materials. Let's put our copper in there. All right, we have a little bit of orc dropped in here. I'm too. I'm kind of upset we don't have regeneration. You think we would have regeneration effect when drinking orc draft? It gives us you know strength and speed. But I guess if it's I guess if it's like you know blood and alcohol like hard liquor, then I mean maybe it would, all you would get you well you think hard liquor would make you slower? What is orc draft? It keeps you going strong, like Sugar Crisp. Alright. Come on, we still have a little bit of fight in us. There we go. Let's clear out this area. And we can explore this uh, troll horde uh, next time. Now that we're in this cave, we'll see what's in this troll gold. And then we can fast travel out to the Misty Mountains. Until then, I'm going to hide from this orc. And I will see you at a later date. Arrivederci.